Clip Studio Paint 4 introduces a long-awaited feature, the Puppet Warp Tool. It's perfect not just for subtle tweaks, but also for bold, creative transformations. Most artists use it for adjusting poses or fixing proportions, but this tool goes far beyond that. In this tutorial, we'll explore how Puppet Warp can refine your work and inspire new artistic possibilities. Understanding Puppet Warp First things first, always back up your original layers before using Puppet Warp. You can find the Puppet Warp tool under Edit, Transform, Puppet Warp. For quicker access, consider adding it to the command bar or quick access palette. Puppet Warp can be applied to one or more raster layers and a folder containing raster layers. If your artwork is in vector format, you'll need to rasterize it first. Once activated, the tool generates a mesh based on your layer's transparency. If a folder contains separate elements and there's enough transparent space between them, Puppet Warp treats them independently. Clicking on the mesh adds pins that act as transformation joints. Dragging the center of a pin moves the area. Dragging the circle around a pin rotates it. A single pin can move and rotate isolated parts without deformation. To lock a section in place, add at least two pins at either end of the connection and in the locked area. Experiment with pin placements. Use Ctrl Z as needed to find the best locking formation for the case. To bend the arm, for instance, place pins at the elbow and wrist, and move and rotate them as needed. If the shape warps oddly, add more pins to maintain structure. You can remove pins by alt-clicking them. Select more pins at once while holding shift. Temporarily hide the mesh and pins by holding space. The sub-tool detail palette gives us additional options. Change the mesh density to high for a detailed warp. The expansion setting controls how the mesh connects. High expansion connects elements so they move as one unit. Low expansion keeps areas separate, good for fine details like hair or fingers. Uncheck show mesh to hide mesh but keep the pins. Rotation angle allows setting a specific angle to a pin. The order buttons let you decide which overlapping parts go to the front. Puppet Warp and Liquify, a dynamic duo. The Liquify tool complements Puppet Warp perfectly. While Puppet Warp handles broader structural changes, Liquify is great for subtle refinements afterward. Tips for effective use. Shape clarity. Figures with non-overlapping parts are easier to manipulate. For example, a character with hands in pockets and shoes touching limits the tool's ability to isolate limbs. You'll still be able to adjust the overall posture, but not each arm or leg. Working with loose drawings. Since Puppet Warp relies on transparency, it doesn't work well with open shapes. Enclose your line art or fill it with color first. Separate layer strategy. The locking system isn't flawless. To avoid distortion at the connection, place body parts, like wings, limbs, or clothing accessories, on separate layers and warp them individually for more control. Practical and creative uses. Add motion to repeated elements. Puppet Warp excels at creating movement in ribbon-like shapes. Start with a straight version of an element, then duplicate it and apply pins to create dynamic variations. Low expansion value allows you to move the whisker separately. When parts overlap in the wrong order, use the order buttons in the subtool detail palette to control their front to back stacking. If your pins become too messy, remove and replace them as needed. Use Liquify for final cleanup. Surreal Landscapes Puppet Warp is fantastic for building surreal or whimsical environments. Let's create dancing skyscrapers by adding, moving and rotating pins gradually from the base up. To make a knot, use the order buttons to bring loops to the front and back. Use additional pins to smooth out bulges. Once done, refine the shape with Liquify and fix the lights. Warping Sound Effects Want your sound effect text to flow with the scene? Rasterize a copy of your text layer. Use Puppet Warp pins to bend and stylize individual letters. To warp the entire word as one shape, raising the expansion value doesn't help us. The trick is to draw a rectangle around the word on a new layer, group the rectangle and the text layer in a folder, and lower the rectangle's opacity or hide it. Now, Puppet Warp will recognize the whole folder's shape, even if the guide layer is hidden. Thanks to this trick, you can bend the text into an arch or wave. Pattern Wrapping on Clothes To make a tattoo or graphic design wrap naturally around an arm or fold, 
you can either turn it into a ribbon brush, or puppet warp it. Use gradual pin placements to bend the shape to follow curves or folds. Liquify helps refine wrinkles and overlaps. Subtle tweaks. Sometimes an object needs just a nudge. Puppet warp is great for minor adjustments to clouds, background scenery or various effects from fire and water to aurora. Instead of redrawing, simply warp the elements slightly into better flow or alignment. Adjusting character poses. The most common but incredibly powerful use of puppet warp is pose tweaks, especially for comics and webtoons. To avoid lags or unintended warping, make a merged copy of the character. Use pins to fix stiff angles and make the pose more expressive. Reuse similar panels by tweaking the same artwork. Great for saving time without compromising quality. Dynamic 3D Objects You can apply Puppet Warp and Liquify to 3D rendered objects too. This helps add dramatic faux perspective or a fish eye effect to vehicles and other props. Animation Simple animated loops like a flickering flame can be created by duplicating an image and warping each frame differently with Puppet Warp and Liquify. Drawing Aids Puppet Warp can also help you in unexpected ways. The animator needed this elephant's trunk straightened, but imagining the lights would be hard. I first drew it curved to get the lights right, straightened it with the Puppet Warp and added final fixes in the straightened version. Conclusion Puppet Warp isn't just a fixer, it's a creative tool. With practice, it becomes second nature in your digital art process. So start experimenting and bring your art to life in new ways.